The church has the perspective because for the last 2,000 years, she's been meditating and praying and reflecting on the truth of God and who we are in light of that relationship and meditating on the person of Jesus Christ. Do we really believe with every single thing in us that Jesus is that one truth that will make everyone free? Because it's never compassionate to withhold the truth from someone. So it's like the greatest question, right? Like, who is man? Who are we? And then also flowing from who, knowing who I am, now how can I live? How can I love properly? And if we get that wrong, that order of first understanding who I am, that then I can be free, then everything else goes awry. Like the goal that our Lord has for us is far bigger. It's to go home to the Father. And to have a life, life to the full, right here. Our culture is pushing kids down a path that is going to lead to to heartache. Are we willing to take up our cross to suffer for the salvation of our children and our grandchildren and those around us? And again, it is only by looking at Jesus Christ does any of this make sense. And the church has been doing that so that we can come to understand who we are and how we're meant to live. In fact, as St. John Paul II said at World Youth Day in Denver, we are the sum of the Father's love. And so do we really appreciate and live as ourselves that we were made by God out of love, as Father said, St. John Paul said, as Genesis says, in the image and likeness of God? Do you really live that? Do you really own that? It's awesome.